Joe Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. April showers, we've had a lot of them this month. We have seen rain on 16 of the first 23 days this month. That's counting today too. And we're now up to four and a half inches of rain as of yesterday at the uh, Rain gauge at TF Green Airport that beats last year's amount by an inch and the normal amount by more than an inch. So it has uh, been a damp morning and we're finally going to start to dry things out. We're seeing that already in North Situate. It's still overcast there and cloudy skies in Providence. As I mentioned, we'll see some slow improvements today, eventually seeing some breaks in the cloud cover in Rhode Island. Clouds are a little more stubborn the further east that you go. So places like Boston, Plymouth, Cape Cod and likely to see an overcast and cool day. Another round of showers tonight. Don't leave the patio furniture uncovered. We do have a busy weather pattern continuing with more rain in the forecast for Friday and possibly towards the end of the weekend too. Here's where the rain continues to fall in eastern Massachusetts, dropping down through Plymouth County now around the western part of our area of low pressure to the further parts of the west you go. You're going to find the warmer temperatures up into the lower 50s in Providence and Smithfield and we're dry and it's turning brighter in Hartford and New Haven, even westerly at 56. And we've had a couple of breaks in the cloud cover over the lower part of Narragansett Bay too. New Bedford 48 and dreary there, Boston at 50 degrees. So this morning stays mainly cloudy right through midday. And then as we head into the afternoon, you're more prone to those sunny breaks. Low pressure going to be moving out. Second system for this week is this area of low pressure crossing the Great Lakes this morning. It'll swing a cold front through that'll pass during the overnight hours tonight and early tomorrow morning. So here's how the rest of the morning looks. We'll keep the cloudy skies here through the end of the morning and at lunchtime, as I mentioned, starting to see some breaks of sun. And again, the further east that you go, the more the clouds are going to be hanging around today. Eight o'clock in the evening, we're under partly cloudy skies and at 11 o'clock at night, more rain showers moving in those showers mostly gone by the time the sun comes up tomorrow morning and by the midday sunshine and Wednesday afternoon looks bright and sunny a little breezy but it'll be milder 60 in Wickford today with the help of some sunshine Hope Valley at 60 winds turn late in the day to the southeast along the coastline near 60 in West Warwick situate Foster, a mix of clouds and sun in the afternoon. West Greenwich at 62. East Providence and Seekonk, whether you hit that 60 degree mark will be dependent on how much sun you can get. Clouds giving way to some breaks of sun in Taunton and New Bedford in the lower 50s there. This evening, we will see partly cloudy skies early on at 59 degrees and then those clouds and the risk of showers increasing. I don't think you'll have any issues for getting in after school sports today other than the fact that the fields may still be too damp to play on. Dry skies Wednesday as we head into the late morning hours overcast and dreary when you wake up again tomorrow morning for the commute in but midday sunshine at 64 and we'll be dry and sunny in the evening. Thursday looks good start to finish Friday not so much. We're going to finish out the week the way we start started it with an all day rain event, another soaker possible potential to pick up one to two inches of rain Friday and Friday night. Right now the timing's looking pretty good for your Saturday, drying out, turning windy and clearing skies. Sunday, most of the day looks dry. We got to watch the end of the day. Could be a couple of showers towards the evening hours. We'll keep you updated on a full forecast WPRI.com.